In this video, I'll show you how to edit a transcript or correct the text from an automatically transcribed transcript inside Descript. Hi, my name is David and welcome to this video. If this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider liking this video and sharing it with your friends so that we can all learn together. The script has evolved over the years and with the involvement comes some few changes. Now, I'm using Descript 14.0. So what we're going to start off with, we're just going to start off with a new project, just uh, correct text, let's just call it that. Just create project and then from there, we're just going to drag and drop the file we need to be automatically transcribed by Descript. And once it's added, you'll need to select which way you want it to be automatically transcribed using the white glove service or even uh, using a transcript that is if you have one. But uh, for this purpose, we want to use automatic. If you have multiple speakers, you can select the detect speakers option, but let's just click on transcribe. Now it's going to initialize and depending on the length of your audio, how busy the descript servers are, or basically how fast it is, it's going to take a long or a short time. Now it's 50% and I'm sure it's almost done. Pretty short file, a three minute, 30 second file, uh, done potentially in less than, if I'm not mistaken, under a minute. So transcribing 55, let's wait for it. I think I talked too early there, 75, but mostly it's just a three minute file, just under a minute, 95% and then uh, we get 100%. So there is our script available for us. Looks pretty good for somebody who whose English is not uh, the first language. Now, uh, if we just listen through. Hi everyone, my name is David and welcome to this video. Uh, and this video is also a question I'm going to answer from Guyen uh, and Guyen. So that's, I'm sure that's a Vietnamese name. Uh, it didn't really get that correctly, but let's just say we just give it uh, up to somewhere here. You can remove the filler words, just select the filler word there and then uh, right click, remove filler words and then go to this particular option and uh, you can just say ignore or delete. So what you can say ignore, once you click on ignore and then click on apply to all, then it's going to ignore all this particular uh, words that are filler words. It's going to optimize your transcript etc. So that's that. Uh, but let's just come back to this particular option. If you want to edit while you listen, let's say everyone, my name is David and welcome to this video. And this video is, all let's say you want to uh, edit when you are around this particular section, then all you need to do is just press on the letter E. If you press on the letter E, it pulls up the word that you've selected. And let's say you want to add and like that. Just click on correct. Uh, you can also hold Q if you wanted to just capitalize something. Uh, so for example, if we just press on control Z, control Z, if I just press on Q and click, the and is actually going to be capitalized pretty awesome, pretty quick using keyboard shortcuts. Now, that's the first mode of editing or correcting text from a script or a transcript inside the script. So uh, just press on E and it pulls up this particular option. And you can uh, also set uh, the beta version of detect transcription errors. But if you just wanted to correct everything on the fly, then you can do that. There's also now a new option here where you can enter the correct text mode. So you can press on control alt E. If you click on that, it takes you to this correct text mode, which is pretty awesome because that's more or less what people will be using, but we can just close it out. And then if you navigate to the edit option, it's also available here. Toggle correct text. Just click on that. Once you click on that, you'll see the green boundaries inside this particular canvas and the X button to exit the correct text mode. Now, for example, if let's say I wanted to edit this particular text, I'll just press on enter here. And then if to play this particular option, I'll just press on tab. And this video is also a question I'm going to answer from Guyen 
and so you can just come back here i i have a subtitle file with all upper if you press on the tab key it stops you can always come back to where you want it to be if it moves so fast so we can start off from here hi everyone my name is david and welcome to this video and this video is also a question i'm going to answer from guyen and guyen we can just hit on that and then add the name guyen uh, asked me hi from answer from guyen uh, and guyen asked me hi i have a subtitle file with all uppercase do you know how to convert it to lowercase with subtitle edit so in this video I'll show so we can just stop it there just come here and then uh let it be a new line hi in quotes and i love the way the script uh, automatically capitalizes the first letter once you get into a new paragraph we can press on tab to play hi i have a subtitle file with all uppercase do you know how to convert so, it to lowercase with subtitle edit so in this video i'll show you how to convert a subtitle casing that is uh the words from different cases tab. so it's done a pretty good job subtitle edit should be subtitle edit in caps so if i just listen to this particular section hi i have a subtitle file with all uppercase do you know how to convert it to lowercase with subtitle edit so i believe that looks good uh that works for that and then so in this video i'll show you how to convert a subtitle casing that is now it's not casing it's casing casing and then we can just pull this back i love the way it just does that it drops it to a lower case uh we can just stop there now once you're satisfied with the editing of your transcript you'll just need to close that particular option and by default it keeps saving automatically now two options either you press on e and once you press on e you can either edit that particular option especially for things like names and all that or you can enter the correct text mode once you're satisfied with your transcript uh, you've made the necessary corrections then you can always share your transcript share your subtitles share your videos if that is what you are working on to the relevant persons or people you want to share it with so that is how you can edit a transcript in the script using two ways on the fly as you're working on your media or when you enter correct text mode so that's it that's it from me my name is david i hope this video is going to be of value to you thank you for watching